Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys another way to hook a three-way switch up. All right, now before we did a little video and we learned how to do it uh, just basically the simple way. Hot on one side, switch on the opposite. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to wire it where there's only three wires on one side of the switch, three wires on the other side of the switch, and everything else is made up in your box for um, like your light box or your can ladder, whatever it may be. But you always need to make sure that you have enough room in whatever device that you're using, whether it be a can light, whether it be a fluorescent light, whether it be, you just need to make sure, because everything has a cubic inch rating. You just need to make sure. Um, that is something that if you do not know, uh, I will probably never have a video on that. So um, there's plenty of people you can call. You can call your local building inspector or any electrician that's nearby you can actually physically explain to you. However, let's get on with the video. All right, so I decided to do the video outside today because it's a little overcast, natural light. I don't actually have to go put a bunch of boxes up. So there is a little bit of noise from the interstate. However, I think we can deal with it. Um, but this is the setup what you have. Now this is just, you know, obviously a fake wall. So don't be like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like my wall because it probably isn't. So what you have here, we're gonna use this as a light box, okay? What you will do is you'll take a three wire, a 12-3, what I prefer, not a 14-3, but a 12-3. And you'll put, like, here's be your switch box right here. And this will be your other switch box. So these could be, you know, 500 feet away or they could be, you know, 10 feet away. So what you need to make sure is, you put your three wire in here, just like this. So all you have in these boxes, this is it. All you're gonna have in these boxes right here is a 12-3, all right? Black, white, green, or copper, color, bare, and the same on this side. So what we're gonna have here, let's just pretend that this is all brand new circuitry, okay? This is a, a brand new wall that you're gonna do, and this is not a way that I recommend, but um, there is a reason why I'm doing this because I've had a lot of questions on this particular setup here What I'm going to show you um, Kimberly, especially you you've had this issue uh, This is gonna be kind of like a two-fold video So you just need to pay attention and I'm gonna try to explain it It may be a 15-minute video, but I'm gonna try to explain the best I can so you can really understand what's going on so in Kimberly's uh, deal she has a set of stairs and in both of her boxes all she had was three wire so that's what that's why I'm doing this video basically and not only that but there's you know a couple other ways to do these three ways other than the one I showed you and if you want to watch that video I'm gonna link it right up here you guys can watch that one that's probably the easiest way to do it if you want to do it that way that's the way I would prefer it but anyway so what you'll do is you'll take a 12-3 uh, you'll run from your box up to your light box. Now this is in the ceiling. It's like, like I said, a can light, fluorescent light or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll put a 12-3 up here and we're gonna stick it in this box right here, which we're gonna pretend that this is actually, um, you know, just a fixture of some sort, okay? And of course, you know, you would staple all your stuff up and everything, all right? And from your other switch, you'll take another 12-3 and you'll stick it in like so. All right, so what you have now in your boxes is just 12-3. That's it, nothing else. All right, so in your light box is where you're gonna carry your power to. Now, in Kimberly's, uh, in her email, when she emailed me, um, in her switches, all she had was this, and everything else was up here. So she was confused of why this white wire was not a neutral. When we run our hot wire, let's say this is the hot wire from the panel. Now, what I'm gonna do, since I'm outside, obviously, I made a little plug here, and I'm gonna plug extension cord in and show you guys. But this is my hot wire, so this will be coming from the panel or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in here also. Make sure I show you guys. All right, obviously, if this was a Romex, I would write on it, you know, hot or what have you. All right, now, this is what we're gonna have to do, okay? All right, so the way we're gonna approach this is this. Like I said, you know, we have our wires in here now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do all of our travel, our grounds obviously first. Uh, here they are right here. I've already wired these up. My battery went dead, so I had to start all over. I had to figure out where the heck I was, which going back to the video, <laughs> figure it out. But anyway, so um, what we're gonna do is we're going to do the grounds first, which was already done. We're gonna put these back in here, okay? Now, our traveler wires are down here in our hots, 
switches, whatever, are down here also. Grounds, you know where they all these are, correct? Here's the grounds. Here's gonna be either a hotter switch we haven't decided yet, and this is gonna be either a hotter switch we haven't decided yet. So what we're left with is these two wires right here, which is a red and a white. All right, so up here what we have to do is we have to find the white ones, which we already know which is which here. It's these two white ones right here, okay? We know that the white ones and the red ones, all they're gonna do is just tie together because these are our travelers. We're gonna go ahead and get those out of the equation right now. So I'm surprised that Klein hadn't actually come up with something like this beforehand because um, this is actually a pretty decent tool, I guess. I don't always use them, but they are nice, especially when you don't have anything else. They don't really twist wires the best, but in a pinch, which I, I need a pinch right now, um, they will actually do good, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tie these together. And then we're gonna tie the red ones together because we know that these are our travelers. So the red ones will go together and the white ones will go together, all right? And if we want to up here, we can put black tape on here. And if you're gonna use black tape, I highly recommend using a good tape, not Jap wrap, not this, I think it's called Timplex 1700. You can go to the flea market or, or um, swap meet or whatever, and you can buy this. That's crap, don't buy it. Buy this, not only are you buying good tape, but you are supporting an American job. So keep that in mind. Yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but believe me, when you get out and you use it, you'll know the difference, believe me. So what I would recommend you doing, and it's totally up to you, whatever, Ever you want to do um, I would just put a, a roll a thing of tape on here just so you know that that you know just it's not basically a neutral okay so um, anyway we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these two together and we're gonna put these two together all right real easy right so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put these back in the box and this one too now obviously if the light box, of course. Um, obviously, I would never make joints look that ugly if I was doing this for real. But like I said, this is just a demonstration purposes only. So, all right, what we are left with, okay, guys, is we are left with three black wires and one neutral. On, on your power wire coming in from your panel, this is the neutral, the ground's already made up, and this is your hot. What you have to designate here, okay, these three hots, or these three blacks, let me rephrase that. One of these will go to here. It doesn't really matter um, it's basically a preference at this point. So what I would do, since these two are kind of close together, I would just tie these two together like so. All right, here comes some geese. You might hear them. All right, now this is, like I said, this is a little extension cord I had, so it's strand wire, otherwise I would have twisted them with you know my clients or whatever. And what you're left with, guys, is all you need. So basically what you did now is you tied one of the black wires, that this wire, this is the one I'm, this is the one that I did. So I tied the black wire into here. So we know that this right here is going to be the hot. So, and this over here will be the switch leg. All right, pretty easy, right? Because this wire is this wire right here. This wire is the one that I tied together. All right, Kim, like I said before, what has happened here in your box um, I think that you got confused. Somebody didn't phase their wires, which I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in a second. And uh, on your staircase, uh, I believe what had happened was um, you thought that maybe one of these was neutral and uh, you tried to add that switch where you needed a neutral on for your stair lights and that's not going to work because technically there's no neutral here. The neutral is up in your box, up in your ceiling box. I hope that kind of helps. Like I said, this is kind of like a two-fold video. So, all right, what we're going to do now is we're definitely going to phase these wires, okay? We do know right now, the way we did this is this is our hot. So I'm gonna put a little curly cue on it, and this is our switch. So we know that these two need to go on the point or the common of our switch. All right, like guys, like I said, check out the other video, how to do three ways um, that I have. It'll tell you what all these are and how to go about doing it right. All right, and also on these switches, you know you can just stab them in the back, and I never recommend them. I'm gonna link a video right up here. If you're interested in figuring out why I say in every video, do not stab in the back, well, you can see on that video right there why I recommend that, all right? Now, you definitely don't wanna leave these white, okay? Especially if they're not neutral. I recommend highly putting a piece of tape on. I'm gonna show you guys how to put a piece of tape on here. Um, 
easy way to get it done to satisfy the code. All you got to do is lay a piece of tape, basically like this, flat, put it around there, and then wrap it around. That's what you're left with. All right, so now it's black. I'm going to cut the rest of the white off and, and uh, strip it out in just a second. But you definitely need to make sure that that happens because if somebody else, like I said before, gets in this box and it's not you and it's your husband, your wife, your daughter, your cousin, your uncle, your mother-in-law, well, maybe not your mother-in-law, <laughs> maybe you don't want to phase it, but you definitely want to make sure that they don't get shocked because, you know, that's just not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these wires and then we're going to strip them. All right, so what we're going to do, we got them all stripped out now. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to curl each of these. All right, so we're going to start with this switch over here. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the grounds on first. Go ahead and we'll tighten this sucker down here. Everything that you see me use in here, I will definitely leave a link down below to Amazon where you can go through my affiliate link and it only helps my channel. So guys, if you want to get any of this stuff, my camera, my uh, my microphones or anything please feel free to do it. i got a lot of discount codes down below uh it only helps my channel guys and um, i can just get a small commission doesn't cost you any more i'm going to zoom in here a little closer so you guys can see what's going on all right so i got the ground on now if you remember in my other videos like i mentioned before we do know that these two are the travelers and this is the point or the common rather um, i call it point because that's what i've always called it and what my preference is to always have the opposite wire or the different colored wire on the opposite side so in this case it's going to be the red and we're going to put it around here and we're going to go ahead and screw it to it all right we do know that this is the common okay and this is the other traveler all right and we'll just push this back in the box Now, I'm not gonna screw this in the box um, because first of all, I don't have any screws on there. But, all right, so well, same thing we got here. We know these are our travelers. This is our ground, obviously. Now, I say obviously, but I have seen sometimes where people have actually used the grounds for hot, which is definitely not good. Oh my, is that not good? So it doesn't really matter which travel we put on the opposite side, but like I said, I always just like to be uh, very consistent when I do things. So I always put the opposite color on the opposite side and the two blacks on one side all right just my preference it doesn't really matter but it's like i said it's just my preference all right and we'll put this traveler right here now what we have to do after we get this done squared away what we have to do is finish our light so what we're left with is technically we would leave the ground out but for this purpose the light that i'm using is just a little old pigtail that i bought all right so it's it doesn't even really have a ground on it it's just a light now but all you would technically do is just pull your grounds back out if it had a ground wire and then hook it to it but since mine doesn't obviously that's what we're doing so we'll go ahead and we'll put the neutral on first you always want to make sure you take your power and leave it off that's one of the most important things that you do first obviously i guess i should have said that to begin with but i guess i assume that if you're if you're this far you probably already know to turn your power off all right so we're just gonna take an led bulb and screw it in here and like i said this will be your can light or whatever your fluorescent fixture and this will be your home run of course but for me it's just an extension cord we're gonna plug it in here now, i don't know if it's gonna come on or not obviously it did not so we're gonna see which one turns it on all right so we do know that works come over here to the other three way boom if you ever come to this and there's only three wires in there now a lot of people i've been in boxes and they never ever phase that white so it's it'd be white red and black so you just got to figure out by using the meter what is the hot because that white wire may actually be hot i've seen many people up here make the hot wire i got a dive bomber going 
Oh, he's a hawk. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I've seen many people feed the hot down here on white, which is not the best option, obviously, to work, because all that wire knows. is what's on the other end of it, whether hot or neutral. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's all you gotta do, okay? Um, if there's a problem in this switch, you're gonna have to take them out and you're gonna use your meter to figure it out. At that point, you're gonna have to try um, meter on the ground and then try to figure out which one is the hot, okay? I got another video on that if you guys are interested in watching it, how to fix a three-way screw up and I'll link that right there, okay? All right, if you have any other questions, guys, um, there will be a four-way video coming very, 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 very shortly. And uh, if you guys like the video outside versus inside my garage, um, let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested in knowing that. And if you have any other video ideas, guys, uh, I'm back on, <laughs> I'm back on electrical kick and I just wanna pump these out one after the next uh, along with my conduits and stuff like that. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see, whether it's you know conduit bending or whatever. Because if not, I'm just gonna keep on rolling. The next one will be a four-way video, uh, how to wire up a four-way. I've been needing and wanting to do that. And I also have another video on Wi-Fi plugs and lighted three-ways and the switches basically. Uh, why do you want that? Because if you walk into a dark area and you're completely in the dark, that three-way that's lit up shows you where the switch is. And I'm gonna show you how to wire that, guys. All right, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.